Hey guys, it's Susan from Tama Gems. I hope everybody is well today. I hope everybody's having a really great day. So far, so good over on this side. I wanted to show you a design that I came up with. I've always wanted a large pearl stud that sits right on top of my earlobe with a little dangle on the bottom, but I didn't know how to make it. So I came up with this design. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy this video because these earrings are so sweet. So let's get started making them. Okay, so you're gonna need some supplies. I've got my Loctite Super Gel glue. I've got tools, chain nose pliers, flush cutters, and my bent chain nose pliers. I also have some chain. I need two post earring backings and I need the little backings to go on this. I've got two six millimeter pearls, fresh water, and I have two 10 millimeter fresh water pearls. Okay, to get started on this, let's move all of this aside. And we're gonna actually start on the chain right now. So what I need to do, because I'm gonna make the shorter version, I'm not gonna do the long one, the long chain. But if you want to do a longer chain, you just cut more chain. If you want a shorter chain uh, for your earrings, you cut less chain. So what I want is just one link out of this roll. So I'm gonna cut right below the one link. So I've got one link and I need another one for the next side. So let me cut this off. Let me just twist that open, take that off. All right, so I've got my two links because I want a really short earring. I've been looking for an earring like this for quite a while and I've, I've been wanting something like this and I didn't know how to make it, but I came up with this design and I'm I wanna show you how to do this. It's really pretty, I hope you're gonna like it. So what I need to do first, oh, I forgot is I need a couple of eye pins. I mean, um, head pins. So I've got a couple of head pins and I need my six millimeter pearls. So let me move this aside. So I'm going to take my head pin and go right through my pearls. Now, when you get pearls and head pins is that you have to make sure that the head pins are going to fit through your pearls. So it's a good idea to check it before you start your project. Make sure you have the right um, millimeter that's going to go right through your pearl. So this is a 22 gauge head pin and it's fitting nicely right through my pearl. So I really lucked out with that. Or else if the 22 gauge didn't fit through it, I have to go down to a 24 gauge head pin. Okay, so this fit through nicely. Now what we're gonna do is use our chain nose pliers. We're gonna pinch it down at the top and we're gonna bring the wire to the back. So we have about a 90 degree angle. Then I'm gonna come in with my flush cutters and using my finger as a guide, I'm gonna cut and it's about one centimeter of wire sticking out of the top. Then I'm gonna use my round nose pliers and come back towards me to make my loop. So I've got my loop on this side. Now I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna bring the wire to the back. Cut. And roll towards me.
If my loop is a little crooked, I'm just going to use my pliers and straighten it out. I think my hands are slipping because I put lotion on before I started the video. All right, so let me straighten out my loop. Okay, that looks a little better. I'm going to save these two pieces of wire that I just cut off. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with these later. Okay, I've got my two simple loops on my six millimeter pearl pearls. Now I'm going to use my two links that I cut off. I'm going to go ahead and open up my simple loop. I'm going to put on my little link and close that back down. Do the same for the other side. Open it up. Slip on my chain link. And close it back down. So now I've got this. My two pearls with one chain link on the top. Okay, let's put this aside. Now let's work on this. Okay, so what I need to do with these two 10 millimeter pearls is I need to make an eye pin on the bottom of this. And I don't have an eye pin, so I'm going to make my own with the two pieces of the wire that we just used. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring the wire to the back using my round nose pliers. I'm gonna roll it towards me until I get my eye pin. Let me make sure that's closed. Okay, so I've got one eye pin. Let me do the second one. Wire to the back and roll towards me. Make sure this is closed. Okay. Okay, now what I need to do is take my eye pin and I'm gonna put it through my pearl on both sides. to talk to you about these pearls. These pearls have a flat back on one side and a rounded dome on the front. So we've got a rounded dome in the front and a flatter back on the back side. So these are the kind of pearls that you need to get in order for this um, earring design to work. So do you see the flat back there and there's the dome. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut let me get this straight. So I want the loop to be front to back. I'm gonna cut the very top of the pearl, the wire. So I'm gonna cut that as flush as I can. I'm gonna do this on both sides. as flush as I can to the top of the pearl. I'm going to cut it. And then in case there's like a little bit sticking out, which there is right here, I can feel it. I'm going to take, take it back out, take the pearl out, and I'm going to cut a little bit more off the top. And I'm going to do that with both of the pearls because I don't want it to be sharp and sticking out on the top. Okay, bringing in my super glue, I've uncapped it. Now what I'm going to do is take the eye pin that I made and I'm going to go ahead and put my glue all over the stem of my eye pin. Give it a good amount. I want to make sure it sticks and then I'm going to go ahead and put my pearl 
in, pushing that in, there, okay, got that in, just wipe off the excess, and again, I want my stem to be front to back, and I want the flat part, the flat part of the pearl to be in the back. So I'm gonna let this dry, and you have to be mindful of this glue. This glue is really, really sticky, and if you get it on your fingers, your fingers will stick together. And this is what happened to me when I made my first pair. My fingers stuck together with the super glue, and I had a really hard time getting it off. You know, I ran to the sink, ran it under water, warm water, used soap, and it was really, really difficult to get off my fingers. But I did it, and I'm, I'm okay now. So I got it down to the bottom. Let me just wipe off some of the excess. And again, the loop is from front to back with the back part, the flat part, right, being in the back of the loop. So I'm gonna let this sit and dry for 10 minutes. I'm gonna twist that open slip on my chain link from my six millimeter pearl and close that back down. Do the same on the other side. Twist it open. Hang on my chain and close it back down. Okay, now we've got the completed pearls in the front. Now we need to bring in our two posts. Okay, let me uncap the glue. Taking a post, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue all over the front of my post, making sure that I'm going to put the post on the flat back of my large pearl. I'm going to lay it on top like that and just let that sit there for a minute and then I'll come in and I'll press it down when it's dried a little bit better because I don't want to get glue all over my fingers. Okay, so let's do the the same with this side. Using the flat part of our pearl. Pressing it down, making sure it's kind of centered. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry for a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna take my fingernails and I'm just going to press this down Okay, let's do the same for the other side. Give that about 10 minutes to completely dry. We can go ahead and put on our earring backings. And there you have your beautiful stud pearl earrings. And remember, if you want a shorter earring, you just use one link. This one is using two links. This is five and this is eight. So depending on the length of your earring, you just cut the chain in different lengths. Otherwise the earring, putting together the earring is the same way. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful for you and you will give these a try because they are so beautiful on.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. See you again next time.